What's up guys? I want to take a few minutes and talk about this. This is a Home Depot purchase product. It's Husky, right? Home Depot brand. And it is their smart two port watering timer uh, with a hub space app and a smart plug gateway. Let me tell you why this is crap. It doesn't work. So essentially what happens is the pairing itself is easy. There are QR codes on the other side and I'm not gonna show you my QR code, but there's a QR code under my thumb and you scan the QR code. Fine. That pairs it to the app and then it tells you that in order to get connectivity from the app, what you need to do uh, to get like the extended Wi-Fi coverage is use this thing here and again you get uh, a QR code under the uh, my thumb there and that gives you extended Wi-Fi range fine you have the ability to create schedules in the app which is awesome right so I'm trying to do a two zone in the front I actually purchased two of these which you can see here, right? Two boxes, because I was really excited to automate my my four zone system that I've been doing manually. And I've just been sick and tired of, of going out every time and moving cables. But let me tell you the problem here. This thing has a mind of its own. So you can set schedules, right? So again, I aerated, fertilized, overseeded, top dressed, and you have to water the lawn three times a day for 20 minutes across four zones. I was tired of moving everything around. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go and spoil myself. These things were $70 a piece. And they're garbage. So you can set the schedules, right? The app is intuitive. We'll give them that. It, the app is easy to create schedules. Uh, it is easy to create, you know, pair the unit. I'm, I'll give them that. But that's all useless when it doesn't work. So you can create the schedules, right? So I have a schedule, let's just say 7 a.m., 12 p.m., 7 p.m., right? We're for 20 minutes. Set it and forget it, right? Wrong. So for whatever reason, this thing decides that it's going to activate on its own. It, and again, I had four different schedules working in the app, right? All spaced out. I gave each one a 10-minute break in between. So one would start at 7 Unit one, spigot one, start at seven. Unit one, spigot two, start at 7.30, right? And then you just repeat it through that, okay? Spigot two, right? The unit two, spigot one, start at eight. Unit two, spigot two, start at 8.30. And I just, I, I repeated that cycle uh, and I wanted to run every day. So I noticed because my office is above one of the water lines that runs to one of the spigots outside, I was hearing water running outside of the schedule. And I was like, that's kind of weird. Why would it be doing that? Well, because it decided to turn on on its own. I have no idea why. I have no idea how. And then what happens is, is if you go to turn it off, it goes into this loop where it'll say that it's not active, but it is active. And then it'll say that when it is active, it's not active. It's extremely confusing. It is extremely bad. And if you're not paying attention, you could be wasting so much goddamn water. It's going back. And I couldn't find anybody who did a review on this on YouTube. So you know what I decided to do? I decided to make a five minute video where I'm gonna shit all over this garbage product. So if you go to Home Depot and you see this and you're like, man, that sounds so awesome. I'm going to go and do this so I don't have to waste my time going outside moving all my sprinklers around. Do not waste your fucking time. It's garbage. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video. Hope you have a great day.